Surfshark, supposedly one of the top providers, or so any Surfshark review would say. In this updated Surfshark VPN review, I will investigate what's true and what is merely Surfshark VPN advertising, including important pros and cons. And you can be sure I still have all the best VPN discounts down here in the description. Let's start with privacy and security. Is Surfshark safe to use? Surfshark operates under the Netherlands jurisdiction. Not the best choice since they share data with other Nine Ice Alliance countries. Usually, that would be concerning, but Surfshark's no logs policy means that it keeps no data on your internet activity. Plus, ever since it established RAM only servers, Surfshark can't even record your data in the first place. This server infrastructure was audited too, which is always a sign of dedication. In February of 2022, Surfshark merged with NordVPN, joining hands in development but remaining two separate VPN services. While it's a positive change in theory, some have viewed this to be an attempt to monopolizing the market. Personally, I don't think it's a fair assumption when there are real monopolists with malware manufacturing backgrounds like Cape Technologies out there. On the security side, what is Surfshark offering? It encrypts your connection with a reliable cipher, keeping your connection safe, and ensures no leaks will appear because of connection breaks with a kill switch. But any Surfshark review will tell you as much. The main meat of this review is the extra features, and among those, I find CleanWeb to be most useful. Previously, it used to block and filter out ads and trackers. Good stuff, right? But after the recent update, as long as you use a browser extension, CleanWeb will also deny cookie pop-ups, provide data breach statistics, and alert you about malicious links. It's a bit inconvenient to have these functions on just the extensions though, so I'm waiting for them to come out on apps as well. Other than CleanWeb, Surfshark can also offer a split tunneling feature called Bypasser. This feature lets me choose which websites or apps to load with or without a VPN connection. If you stream or torrent from your device, truly a feature of convenience. Multi-hop is also a cool feature if you are looking for extra security. Since it lets you chain two servers together, it makes it much harder to track your connection. These features are quite useful, but a lot of VPNs have those, like NordVPN or ExpressVPN even. On the other hand, the GPS spoofer is quite unique. My issue with this feature is that it can both be fun and frustrating to use. Fun because you can have some apps and websites completely fooled by changing geolocation. Frustrating because there are not a lot of websites like that and the feature is Android only. Another unique addition to Surfshark VPN is the Nexus. Surfshark Nexus is a technology that allows users to not only access the server, but the network of servers. So how is that helpful? Well, no longer do you need to risk leaking your IP while you disconnect from a VPN to change your IP addresses. That's the only benefit right now though, which is a bummer, but Surfshark promises to introduce two more advanced privacy tools, IP randomizer and dynamic multi-hop as part of Nexus. I'm looking forward to those. Okay, and hang in there, because there's something that's truly transforming the VPN industry. I'm talking about Surfshark One, a suite of security apps including Surfshark Antivirus, Search, and Data Breach Alert. This package is a great way to get all security apps in one place, and it's always improving too. Just recently, webcam protection was added to the antivirus on macOS. The frustrating part about it is that Surfshark 1 costs extra on top of the VPN subscription, but at least that pricing is much cheaper than that of a standalone antivirus. But hey, you can always save some money with the Surfshark discount code. If you are interested, I have codes like that down in the description below. You are welcome to give them a try. All those features I've just mentioned are certainly nice to have, but only if you don't need a tutorial on how to use Surfshark. When it comes to Surfshark's design, you gotta see for yourself. If you like simplicity, broad explanations of features and separate tabs for defining features, Surfshark might be what you are looking for. This underlying design is kept the same on both desktop and mobile devices, and even the extensions keeps most features and the original feature layout. I would argue, however, that the browser extension is a bit overloaded with features, making it less comfortable as a result. The feature discrepancy between mobile devices is also annoying. For instance, GPS spoofer is only available on Android. 
Fixing these problems would make Surfshark much more user-friendly. And one more thing, just for me, just add the map like NordVPN has. I really enjoy seeing how far my connection travels. It's very fun. Okay, enough about the UI. Let's investigate the performance next. Here comes a Surfshark speed test to show us what this VPN is capable of. I'm using the Surfshark WireGuard protocol and connecting to a UK server, and these are my results. As you can see, I lose about 10 to 15% of my baseline speed, not that big of a deal. Honestly though, these days, most providers have adapted to modern connection methods and you can expect Surfshark download speed to be about the same as most competitors. What is harder to replicate is server coverage. Surfshark doesn't have the biggest server pool, only about 3,200 servers, less than ExpressVPN or PureVPN for instance. On the other hand, Surfshark servers are spread amongst a hundred different countries, a record-breaking number. What that means for you is that wherever you are, there's likely Surfshark server nearby ready to provide good speeds. And you will need your Surfshark download speed to be high, especially if you are interested in streaming. I had people asking, does Surfshark work with Netflix? And my reply is Surfshark might be the best VPN for Netflix these days. I know that sounds presumptuous, but hear me out. Ever since the new anti-VPN rules in India, you can't access Netflix India or Disney Plus Hotstar with most VPN providers. Question, if that's the case, how am I showing you these pages now? Yeah, you get it. Surfshark can still access Indian content thanks to their virtual servers. Moreover, Surfshark VPN accesses 29 different Netflix libraries more than NordVPN or ExpressVPN. On top of providing access to pretty much every platform you'd want to watch, I can vouch for good video quality when streaming too. It sounds too good to be true, and to be honest, it is. Despite having great experience most of the time, during weekends and recent Christmas holidays, I had some performance drops and access issues. Usually, simply changing a server would fix it, but it's a Surfshark review, so I'm telling you about all the bad stuff as well. Just like I have to report on torrenting, is Surfshark good for P2P enthusiasts? I guess? Surfshark doesn't prohibit torrenting on any servers, but besides Bypasser, you won't find any P2P-oriented features like port forwarding or SOX5 proxy either. I did some Surfshark torrenting and downloaded a couple of files with decent speeds, but there's nothing to highlight compared to other providers. Talking about comparisons, I'd like to address this question. Is Surfshark worth it? After all, sure, it has a lot going for it, but should you overpay? Of course not, and you won't have to. The Surfshark price is considerably cheaper than most other VPN providers. A better value too, if you consider that a single account can be used on unlimited number of devices unlike competitors. Furthermore, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee and a seven-day free trial for iOS, Android, and Mac as well. So. Let's go ahead and summarize the Surfshark VPN review. Surfshark has decent privacy standards and an impressive range of security features, which can be improved by ensuring all apps have the same features. It's very good performance-wise and a great torrenting choice, but not that big of a deal if you need extensive P2P support. With all the extra features added and coming up, Surfshark VPN feels like more of a security suite recently. It's absolutely fine if you need an antivirus as well, but if your focus is just a VPN, maybe Surfshark could become an overkill at some point. But hey, at least you can actually get it for a pretty affordable price. Just grab the Surfshark coupon from the description below. If you think there's still more I should cover or have any questions, hit me up in the comment section. Thanks for watching this Surfshark review for 2023, and I'll see you soon in one of those videos.